Lockie, real excitement around the place, uh, a semi-final this weekend, it, it's knockout rugby now. Yeah, I um, mean the last 10 months come down to two weeks, don't they? Um, you know, form leading into this really doesn't stand for much, to be honest. So, um, you know, really excited about it. The prospect of playing my last game here at Sandy Park and it being sold out, you know, I'm really excited about that. And, you know, um, the forecast looks good. We should get some, some clear weather and, um, you know, it, it's all standing up to be a really, you know, one hell of a game and I'm, I'm really excited about the prospect of, um, you know, being a part of it. Reflect on the last two and a half years, you talk about your time here at Sandy Park, you, you've really enjoyed yourself. Yeah, it's been a ride, it really has, you know, I came here, um, you know, to become a better footballer and, um, you know, I think, I think I've, I've done that, I've, I've enjoyed being a part of what we're building here and, and what they have built. Um, and you know, I now look forward to getting the next two weeks done and dusted, hopefully, and uh, going home and watching them continue on for um, you know the next next few years to come. First and foremost, Newcastle this weekend. You know the threat that they pose, don't you? Yeah, they do. Look, they've they've had a tremendous season. Um, you know, as have we. And as I said, it, it doesn't really stand for much anymore. It, it, this is knockout footy, and it comes down to the 80 or 100 minutes. You know that we saw last year um, you know on the weekend um, so uh, you know as I said it's a massive game and it's going to be a sold out crowds and dry weather and I'm you know I, I can't wait to be a part of it. How much will the experience of the last couple of years for you guys that you've been in semi-finals before help coming into this weekend? Look, we, yeah, we, we've got a young a young squad of guys who are coming through and, and training and um, you know pushing and then we've got the senior guys who have been a part of it and you know, have, have won you know finals and and you know Steno kicking that goal last year and you know Ice Veins and um, you know Slady finding touch in the in the semi final against Saris and putting it out you know a couple of meters from the sideline uh, from the try line. Sorry, you know we've we've got a really good mix there and we've got the, we've got the experienced guys who are leading us well and and um, directing us around the park and coming up with the big plays and we've got the youth and enthusiasm to. Um, you know, bring that energy in, into a game. So it, it, it seems to be a really good mix, and you know that's what's what's led us so well over the last ten months. But yeah, you know, it, it's got to get the job done for eighty minutes or, or hundred minutes on the weekend. I was going to say, is that the focus? You've done so well in that first twenty-two rounds, but that goes, counts for nothing if you don't follow it up now. Yeah, it does. It does. Um, you know, when I look back at it, I was I was trying to think where we came last year, and I, I couldn't remember where we finished the season. Um, but I remember we won the final, and you know, moving forward uh, to this time next year, I'd love to be sitting at home, you know, with the same feeling. Um, but you know, it's knockout footy. It's uh, who performs best on the day now. And lots of memories from your time here. What stands out from from the Chiefs' journey? Uh, oh, mate, there's there's too many to you know to really lament on at the moment, but I. Look, the job's not done, and for me, uh, all, all of that sort of the, the looking back and the, the glorifying and all that sort of stuff, that'll come once, once I'm done and dusted. At the moment, you know, we've, we've got a really big, big couple of weeks, we hope, ahead of us, and, you know, it starts this weekend here at home, and um, that's, you know, that's all I'm looking at at the moment. Mm -hmm.